Hello everybody, it's time for another installment of Cooking with Cap. Today we're making apple pie air fryer bombs, or air fryer apple pie bombs. Whatever order those words go in. So, yeah, I got my uh, apple pie filling, my apple pie spice, and my air fryer is plugged in. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I might sound a little low energy right now, and that's because I just got done eating some subpar Chinese food. I don't feel sick. I just feel like I probably could have spent my money a little bit wiser. But that's beside the point. Let's make some apple pie things. So I got my medium-sized bowl right here, and to this I'm adding one, well, three-quarters of a cup of sugar and three teaspoons of apple pie spice that was one and here's two I don't know why it clumps up so much and three and yeah all this is is like a mix of uh well let me yeah actually grab it uh Cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Cool. So anyway, time to mix this up. And there it is mixed up. And boy, does it smell good. So now we're going to set this aside. So right here, I got my can of Pillsbury Graham's original uh, biscuits, not the flaky layers. So yeah, I'm going to open this up, remove uh, the eight biscuits from the can and peel them to separate them each into two layers and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press each layer of the biscuit into a four inch circle and uh, yeah I don't have a tripod so you know I'm just about to go ahead and do all of this uh, off camera yeah not to mention it, you get to avoid watching me always like sort of spook myself a little every time I try to open one of these. I always know, like, once you peel the paper off and, like, get into the seam, it's gonna, like, really pop. But I always jump every time it happens, because it's like, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, and then it pops, and I'm like, oh my god! But, yeah, I'm a coward. But alright, I'm gonna open this here up. And here they are. I'm in the process of flattening them I'm going to be working in batches anyway so yeah I'll probably just like start with those four see how those turn out um if I need to go flatter I'll probably just use like a wooden spoon I was just using my uh hands on those but I mean outside of this one the others don't seem like they're <laughs> four <laughs> inches uh, in diameter, so yeah, probably gonna have to like use something to flatten them out a little more. Anyway, now that we're done with this, it's a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. But yeah, now that we're done with that, uh, in a small bowl, I'm gonna combine the apple pie filling with some cinnamon. All right, so I got the apple, or well, a cup of apple pie filling right there. Had to go ahead and uh, dice up the apples a little because, oh boy, they were big. And to this, I'm adding one teaspoon of cinnamon. And now to mix this up. And that's how it's looking. Whoa. Okay, so next up I'm going to take a spoonful, of, or rather about a tablespoonful of the filling and put it into the middle of these circles. Uh, fold the sides together, pinching the seal, and roll into a ball. Um, so, yeah, like going over the next few steps after that. I then uh, place the balls into my air fryer. 
this air fryer right here to be exact, only showing the top because the black surface is way more reflective than I thought and it kind of shows my face perfectly. So yeah, we avoiding that. And then they're gonna cook in the air fryer for eight to nine minutes or until golden brown. Like the basket's gonna be sprayed with cooking spray and the tops will be sprayed with some cooking spray as well. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started on that, shall we? Okay, there's there's four. Uh, next month I'm gonna be doing like, I don't know, some freaking like chicken and rice or like hard boiled eggs as the cooking thing because oh my god the, the this this is some <laughs> it's it's not hard work it's just meticulous and annoying and yeah I do have to flatten them out like way more uh for them to like go properly like that was the first one it was like oh yeah no no these need to be way more flat and that was the flattest one so yeah, I got the rest on like a plate off to the side. I'm just going to be working in batches. So as these are cooking, I'm going to be prepping the next four. Um, oh, but then I also have to do the next step because when I remove from the air fryer, they need to be dipped in melted butter then rolled and dipped, like roll each dipped apple pie bomb into the apple pie spice and sugar mixture. Okay, well, all I'm doing is just melting half a stick of butter. It said uh, half a cup, so that is like... Oh, no, 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 that's one stick. All right. Damn, really? One whole stick? Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to melt a stick of butter and uh, then roll each finished one into the uh, apple pie spice sugar, and we'll go from there. Oh boy, let's do this. And there's the first batch done. Uh, eight minutes at uh, 350 degrees might be a bit much, but yeah, there they are. Like they're not burnt. I, I, it's, it looks worse on camera than it does like IRL, but like, Fact remains, they, they do look crispy, but they are not burnt. Like, the bottoms look great, but you can see where some of the uh, apple pie filling was beginning to seep through on that one. But yeah, I'm going to dip these in the uh, butter and then the sugar mixture, and yeah. And that's what it looks like with the butter and the sugar mixture. So you're going to let that sit for a bit and uh, yeah, while I work on the remaining batches. Okay, got the penultimate batch uh, going right now and uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm trying out leaving them in for only like five to six minutes now. They're still darkening a little on top, but I think that's also, mostly because, like, now the air fryer has been going for a bit, so it's maintaining a pretty hefty heat. Also, we got some banana bread right there. But, uh, yeah, they're looking good. It's just a lot of work. But, yeah, let me uh, try one of these right now. Okay, yeah, despite the, uh, like, really dark bits on top, they're still really soft. I think that then might be from the baking spray that, like the recipe says, oh, spray a little on top of each one. So maybe on the very last batch, I won't spray any of the uh, baking spray on top and see how those turn out. But yeah, um, it is indeed very good. But holy shit, is it sweet. Oh, they're done. But, um, yeah, it is sweet. Like, they're, they're good, but this is not like, oh, I'm going to have, like, three of these, three or four of these in one sitting. It's like, eh, maybe, like, one uh, as a, like, bedtime snack. Like, one in the midday, one around bedtime. And, yeah, because... 
that is a lot. And I'm someone who likes sugar. Like, I will down a whole thing of, like, extra sweet Arizona green tea in, like, seconds. Well, well not seconds. That's a bit much. But, like, it'll, it'll be gone in, like, five minutes. But this is, like, I took a bite of that. I'm just like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, like, mm-mm cannot do more than one at a time. But yeah, it is good. It is good. Ooh, doing this with some vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. That would be good. But yeah, uh, the recipe checks out. Like, I like it. Um, just real sweet. Uh, I'll probably have like one more little bit of uh, footage here when the final batch is done so we can like take a look at how those look without the cooking spray but aside from that uh yeah it, it is a lot to clean up though i will say that oh boy and there they are without the cooking spray on top yeah they still brown about the same so yeah you can probably skip that step i would assume but yeah that's that for the air fryer apple pie bombs. Uh, after finishing the uh, one I had, I will say that like these recipes that say to just use um, like Pillsbury biscuits, like they're fine, but also it's like you're not really getting the consistency for like whatever in particular that you want like I didn't mind it so much for the um uh like little skillet pot pie and plus that's kind of like my preferred way of making that like with the uh biscuits but then like going back to that like pizza garlic bread I made like it was good but also it's like at the end of the day, you're just eating, like, biscuits with cheese and tomato sauce and pepperoni. Which isn't bad, but you're not getting the consistency of, like, garlic bread or, like, toasted bread. You're just getting, like, cooked biscuits. And even with this, I feel like, yeah, with, with the um, Pillsbury Grand Biscuits, it turns out good. But I think it would be better if it was like you know a sweeter kind of bread like um what should we call it a uh, pastry dough or honestly even croissants but I don't know how well like croissant dough would hold up with this because croissants are like really light and flaky so maybe those wouldn't have worked out well with this but like some uh I'm, I'm sorry for shaking so much here but like some uh pastry dough which is going to be inherently sweeter I think would be really good like even like pie crust dough I think would be fine um yeah I I, I don't know I don't know like with this, it is still really good because you got the apple, like the apple pie filling with the cinnamon in the middle, the sugary, cinnamony outer coating. And like, yeah, it's good. But at least with how I folded these, and maybe that is on me, but it's like the parts that are pinched together, you can really taste the biscuit because that's like where most of the dough is sort of like collected. So you're getting like a big biscuity bite right there. And just reiterating, like it's not awful. It's not a deal breaker, but it is like a reminder every time you get to those points where it's like, oh yeah, this is not actually like pastry or like pie dough. This is just a biscuit folded around apple. But 
And, you know, despite that, I still recommend the recipe. It's good. Turns out good. Well, yeah, that's going to be it for me for today. I will see you all next time with something else. Goodbye.